what we're going to get you to do is a test of lower body power. The higher you jump, the more powerful your legs are going to be. Mm. So we're going to place you on the mat. We're going to instruct you to jump as high as possible, give it your maximal effort, and try and land back on the mat again. This mat is actually a very sensitive pressure sensor that measures takeoff force. And the key thing is having his hands on his hips. Correct? We're going to try not to use the arms as an extra okay. counterbalance. So that's why we do this, so that he can't use his arms as yeah. elevation. So it's we're just about to the legs. Concentrate just on explosive okay. power. Okay. Three, two, one. The result is surprising. Ronaldo jumps only 44 centimetres, barely average, with a force of just one and a half times his body weight. Something's wrong. So now, this is the thing. You don't jump like that in a game. Yeah. We have to make it relevant to football. Of course, if you jump with three hands, yeah. it's better. You jump yeah, more yeah. than here, you're quite limited. So can you also register that? If I get Ronaldo to jump, if he comes in and jumps up off one foot and lands... We'll get the impact of the pressure as he hits the okay. pressure plate. Please Let's do. try that. Let's try that. Three, two, one, go. Now the results are very different. Ronaldo's body strength enables him to jump 78 centimetres, which is higher than the average NBA basketball player can jump. His takeoff force is almost five times his body weight, or five Gs, the same as an astronaut goes through at takeoff. 